I'm trying to get more into not the response of it, just why why do we not like inconsistencies? Why do we not like fake people? Why do we not like those things? Let's try to get to that point. What's why? The point? Like why why, why is mankind like why do we hate it? Why do we hate it? Because it's annoying, I guess. I don't yeah, know. why does it annoy us? Because it's a lie. Yeah. It's a lie. But it's not, it doesn't hurt you. It may not hurt me directly, but I mean, it can hurt, that person can it's hurt bothering. people. Yeah, it's why bothering. is it bothering? Like, so Because if I'm being genuine and honest and true about myself and I'm showing you who I really am, and you're not reciprocating that, then like, what's the whole point of this friendship? Yeah. But they don't okay, owe you anything friends. anyways. Huh? But are you just observing or are they your friend? I mean, I think it was. I don't think it mattered. It should not. I don't think it should matter because at the end of the day, like, you may have to come across that person once or twice. Mm. So, I mean, this might be a, a bold claim, but I think listening to you guys, correct me if I'm wrong, I often am, but I think th- there's something intrinsic within us as, as humans, as a species. We want people to be consistent. We want people to be the same in all situations. Yeah. We don't like when somebody acts one way in one place and then completely negates that in another place. Yeah. It strikes anger within us, perhaps because of inconsistency. Perhaps we see them as a threat. Maybe something evolutionary. That we see a person who's shape-shifting according to the situation. They're a trickster. We don't like that because we want to have an idea of who we're dealing with, what's around us. We don't want to realize like, oh man, this person can do me dirty. Yeah. This person can take advantage of me. Yeah. This I is not a person I can trust. I think that's why people avoid fake people because they're scared of what can happen. They're scared of being hurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Scared of being hurt. Scared of what they can do to you. Scared of lost time, lost trust. Yeah. yeah. You mean time, want to is, be around time is valuable and if you invest in a relationship or a friendship with a person that ends up being fake it's just like what the heck you know what I mean so here's a good point for us to wrap up on <clears throat> if I examine myself and I find I'm fake I find that I'm just inconsistent in different mm-hmm. situations I find I'm um, you know my, my, just, my personality I just put on a face mm-hmm. I hate the person and I just Try to be nice in front of them, get get some sort of advantage, and then I go back to being the way I am. Whatever it is that defines being fake. How can I stop being fake? How can I start being a sincere, genuine person? I think you just have, like what you said in the beginning, uh, it's all about identity. Okay. Knowing, go into that. Like knowing who you really are, accepting who you are, mm. and just... Living your best life. And this might be a more, more difficult, larger question. How do I know my identity? Based on the fact that there's it's fakeness and come, there's many things. It's not going to come in a day or two. I think it's it's your journey through life, finding mm-hmm. who you are. Like People don't find who they are just like that. No, right. it takes time. It takes years. Right. It takes you know trials and tribulations and, and all of that. It's, yeah. it's not just in a one-day thing, but I mean... Right, one gold, gold step, is purified in fire. Yeah, exactly. And like one step to get on that journey is just being honest. Mm. Honesty. Once you're honest with yourself. Yeah, you got to be true to yourself. I think that's the takeaway we have. We don't like it. We don't like fake people. It's not honest. And the way we can be genuine people is being honest with ourselves, honest with each other. And I think most importantly, honest with God. Absolutely. And once there's honesty with God about who I am, whether that be I'm sinful and I'm, I'm in the middle and I'm trying to be a good person, trying to be like Christ, trying yeah. to be like the saints, yeah. I think that's the start of being a genuine and sincere person. And even if someone, let's say an atheist or whatever, because you brought up different religions. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Even if they don't know the saints or, the, or Christ or whatever, I think honesty itself is just something moral. It is. It's something and, intrinsic in human beings. you should just... On, just be honest at all times and it just that's just something all humans should do just for the sake of humanity amen yeah. all right so we learned most importantly let's be honest mm. with ourselves with others but with god and thus will lead to true sincerity to our lord jesus christ belongs the glory and honor with his good father and the holy spirit and glory be to god forever amen amen happy new year's